make the good times last. So, jam session went well. Yep. I think Pete's finally gotten the hang of those riffs. Yeah. Though, did you miss that last chord progression? It sounded a little, uh, funny. Funny? Sort of like that face you sometimes make when you sing? The one that looks like you have to go to the bathroom? Hey, guys. How was rehearsal? Great. Awesome. So, OK. Cool. Hey, guys. Ugh, at least someone's in a good mood. You believe in love at first sight, right? Totally. Happened to me when I saw that new turbo-powered jet ski at the boat show. Nice. Who is he? Uh, his name is Callum. I met him at Andrea's costume party last night. Mm, he was a gladiator. Tall, blonde, buff. Sounds like a total hottie. He said he'd drop by today. So let me know if you see him so I can lose the lemon hat. You bet. So, dude, you listen to that CD I burned you? Nah, Marlo and I rented a movie last night. Isn't that like the tenth night in a row you guys have watched a movie? I guess we're kind of in a rut. A rut? Nice thing to say in front of your girlfriend. Well, it's sort of true, isn't it? It is now. <gasps> I just found a pack of gum I didn't know I had. <sighs> Don't you just love it when that happens? Callum and now this. It's like the best day ever. Gum anyone? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Marlo and I are just in a weird place. I mean, I really like her, but we're driving each other nuts. You have been fighting a lot. I think we're spending too much time together. You saying you want to kick her to the curb? That's the last thing I want. A little advice. If you want to spice things up, just hook up with another chick. What? Trust me, nothing gets a girl more hooked than if she thinks she's on the way out. Uh-uh. I'm not messing with Marlo's head. Don't knock it. Sometimes a little head messing is all it takes. We just need to not spend every second together. Hanging out, texting, talking on the phone. <sighs> hey, Marlo. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, see you there. Marlo said we need to talk. She's gonna dump me. She's gonna dump me. What are you doing? If Marlo can't find me, she can't break up with me. I'm not taking any chances. Not after Serena. He's right. If he never sees her again, they might live happily ever after. So you want to know why else today is the best day ever? You mean besides the gum? I finally filled my khaki card. Your crappy barn frequent shoppers card? You have to spend 20 bucks like 50 times. I've been racking up points on this card since I was like 14. But today's the day I'm finally gonna get that cute pink cami for free. You're so lucky. Yeah, lucky. You finish your card and then you get to start all over again. I know, I can't wait. <gasps> Callum! <gasps> Huh? Caitlin! Nice digs you have here. Callum, these are my friends Jen and Nikki. Hi. Hi. So, can I have a lemon squishy? Sure. So, did Caitlin tell your new main man's a champion skateboarder? You're, um, a shredder? Uh-huh. The best. I play the Tony Hawk video game a lot. My mom won't let me ride real skateboard till I'm 18. Here you go. Does this have pulp in it? Because pulp triggers my gag reflex. <laughs> hey! Sorry. Think I could get another one? <sighs> okay, coming up. Oh, and give me your phone number while you're at it. I'm going to need it now that we're dating and all. Sure. Sea Dog scores the digits. So, how about a hug for the road? Ah! Oops. Maybe that'll be our thing. Me spilling stuff on you. See you soon, sweet cheeks. He's such a dork. He was in costume at the party. I don't get it. Why did you give him your phone number? Just because I gave him a number doesn't mean I gave him my number. I have a standard fake. Every experienced dater has one. 
Whenever a guy I'm not into asks for my digits, I give him the number to the Gigantoplex. The Gigantoplex? I figure they'll go see a movie and forget all about me. There is a certain Caitlin logic to that. Well, I'm off to the khaki barn to cash in my frequent shopper's cut. Where's my khaki card? It was right here on the counter. You mean the little piece of paper you wrote your fake number on? <gasps> oh, I gave it to Callum. It took me two years to finish that card. Take it easy, Caitlin. You just need to go to the Gigantoplex, tell them what happened, and have them put Callum in touch when he calls. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you're the best, Nikki. I'm gonna get my new cami after all. Well now, don't I feel like a hero? <laughs> Hero Victoria. Woohoo! In your face, fourth graders! Hey, watch it! Wyatt, what are you doing? Avoiding Marlo? Dude, you've got a man up. You can't spend your whole life running from her. What if she dumps me? Don't let her. Like Nikki always says, a relationship is a two way street. You've got to say too, bro. You know what? You're right. I'm not gonna let her dump me. Way to go. If I hurry, I can still make it to Cafe Carbrise to meet her. Whoa, dude! Cafe Carbrise is the breakup place in the mall. They serve tissues on the menu. It's a wonder Serena didn't take me there. It's new. Figures. Back to plan A. Hey! Where are you going? Plus Size Palooza, the oversized women's wear store. It's the last place Marla will look for me. I would hope so. Hey, Jonesy, uh, have you seen Wyatt? What do you mean by seen? Have I seen him at the mall? Or have I seen him naked? Because that is definitely not my thing. I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? Depends. What do you need to talk to him about? That would be between Wyatt and I. Well, then I guess I don't know where he is. I obviously wanted Wyatt to be the one to hear this, but I think he and I need to take a break. What? Why? We've been spending too much time together. So spend less time together. It's just not working, okay? Not okay! Don't do this! For all our sakes, and I don't just mean you, Wyatt and myself. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, the last time I checked, it was just me and Wyatt in this relationship. That is exactly how the selfish-minded person thinks! It's all about me, 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 Wyatt, 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 but there's the rest of the gang to think of. That's five whole other people. Didn't you hear what happened last time? We can't afford a repeat of the Serena situation. I'm not Serena. She broke up with Wyatt in a text message. Come on, Wyatt has so many terrific qualities. He has, uh, great penmanship. And he washes his hands religiously after he pees. I know Wyatt's an awesome guy, though not necessarily for those reasons. That's why I don't want us to end up hating each other. <sighs> Fine. If you won't budge, at least let me break it to him. You? You can't be serious. Serious as a zit on prom night. You have no idea what we, I mean, what life was like for Wyatt after Serena dumped him. He did kind of freak out, huh? Yes, yes he did. Which is why you have to let me do it for you. Okay, but you've got to promise to break it to him gently. Absolutely. frickin lootly If anyone knows how to toss an old ball and chain down the crapper, gently, it's me. Come on, he's my best friend. Okay. Hi. I'm hoping you can help me. My name is Caitlin Cook. So you're Caitlin Cook, the one guys always call for. Now I know what the fuss is about. Uh, yeah. The thing is, there's this guy, Callum. I gave him your number as my standard fake, but now I need to get in touch with him. So I was hoping that when he calls, you could give him my real number. Sure thing, sugar. You just give it to me, and I'll give it to him. That would be awesome. Thanks. Then we can share a tub of hot buttered fun. Uh, yeah. Right. So as long as Wyatt avoids Marlo, he'll never know she wants to dump him. And we're golden. Sweet plan, huh? Okay, let me get this straight. You told Marlo that you'd break up with Wyatt, which is insane, but you don't actually intend on doing it? Correct the mundo. He doesn't know, she doesn't know. We all live happily ever after. This is ridiculous. Somebody needs to tell Wyatt. And live through the whole Serena thing again? Wyatt really was devastated. He propositioned Serena over the mall loudspeaker. And 
Jordan took up angst-ridden spoken poetry, we have to tell him. We just need to break it to him in a way that Wyatt will understand. Okay, do it your way. Any volunteers to dump him? That's what I figured. Fine. If nobody wants to do it, we'll draw straws. Fine. I'll do it. I'm the relationship expert. So, what did you want to talk to me about? <sighs> um, so why? Have you ever been shopping and seen a really cute top that you just had to have? Uh, no. Just go with me on this. Say you love this top. You buy it, but when you get it home, it just doesn't work. You know what I'm getting at? I think so. And you're right. That top doesn't look very good on you. You should return it. What? I love this top. <sighs> Maybe Jen will have better luck. Definitely. That top would look way better on Jen. What? How should I put this? You know, Wyatt, life is like hockey. It is? Think about it. There's a minute left in the third period. You're down six goals. Why pull the goalie and fight on? You might as well take the loss, keep your head high, and try to do better next time. Do you see where I'm going with this? Hockey can get kind of boring. It's best to leave early before the parking lot jams up. You know that boa constrictor at the pet store? Yeah, what about it? Well, every so often, it's got to shed its old scratchy skin so it can get some hot new better skin. Know what I'm saying, dude? Not really. Be the snake, bro. Be the snake. Right. I don't believe you people. What is so hard about walking up to the guy and saying, Wyatt, Marlo doesn't want to see you anymore. If you think it's so easy, go tell him yourself. He's hiding from Marlo behind the potted plant. Wyatt, I have something to tell you. Sure, Nikki. Shoot. I, um, <clears throat> it's just that, uh, you need to know that, uh, I love your music. Uh, thanks, Nikki. Sorry, I just spotted a better hiding place. So, did you guys tell him? Wussed out, huh? Knew it. This job calls for a pro. When Jonesy cuts someone loose, they are totally ditched, dumped, bagged, and left at the curb with a twist tie. Breakup rule number eight, according to Teen Scene Magazine. Yeah, the source for fashion and relationship tips for today's hot happening teens. Never tell the person you're breaking up with, I still want to be friends. Totally. They never mean it. Tell me about it. It's like, I've got enough friends. What I wanted was a boyfriend. Click. Got the picture. Can I go now? Just remember, Jonesy, when you break Wyatt's heart, be careful not to hurt him. Great. Got it. Later. So, have you heard from Callum about getting your khaki card back? I probably would have by now, but I sort of fake number the guy at the Gigantaplex. Why would you do that? I couldn't give that guy my real number. He was a total creep. Okay, reality check. How are you going to get your card back if this Callum dude can't get in touch with you? Actually, he can. I gave the Gigantaplex guy the number at the penalty box. What? No way. Maybe you better get over there. Callum might call. Forget it, Caitlin. I'm not your receptionist. Alrighty then. I'll just answer the call myself. Anything to get my khaki card back. Toodles. You know you'll get fired if she shows up at work instead of you. Ugh, I know. <gasps> Café Coeur Blisé? Jonesy's breaking the news to Wyatt. <laughs> Why? Why are you breaking up with me? Please, give me another chance. Things are stale, huh? I'll give you stale. Why did you want to meet here? Well, the truth is, I ran into Marlo this afternoon and, hard as this is to say, things just aren't working out. With you and Marlo? Dude, with you and Marlo. What? <laughs> you know it, bro. Spending all that time together, getting on each other's nerves, it's been too much. I can't believe it. I'm getting this from you? You're breaking up with me for Marlo? <gasps> You're dumping him for some girl named Marlo? And switching teams? Uh, no, you don't understand. Don't make excuses for him. 
Marlo must be a real backstabber to come between you. You've got it all wrong. Wyatt and I were never, uh, anything. Oh, so now you're denying your entire relationship? Hey, that one had butter on it. Wait, Jonesy, give me another chance. I'm sorry, dude. It's over. Ooh. So, you two are breaking up. No. Yes! Love's like war. And I've taken my share of shrapnel. You don't get it. We're not breaking up. You've got it all wrong. We're, we're not. You're trying to break up, and he won't let go. Quite frankly, son, you can do better. Hey! Penalty box. Do I carry jock straps? Ew, no! Perv. Hey! You want to tell me exactly what's going on here, Pee-wee? Excuse me, coach. <gasps> it's a text from Nikki! Jen! Jonesy did it! He broke up with Wyatt! <gasps> Poor Wyatt! He must be devastated! Okay! Five minute foul for the both of you! Sorry, coach. On a break. You can bench me as soon as I get back. And I don't work here. But somebody's got to answer the phone for me. Hey, Crusher! Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever told you how majorly cute you are? Think you could answer the phone for me for just a couple minutes? <laughs> That's it! You're all in the penalty box! Okay, we got you ice cream, everything on it, pizza, and lots and lots of chocolate. The official breakup recovery kit. Thanks, guys, but I'm not in the mood. <sighs> Marlo and I had such a good thing going. Ooh, tasty breakup grub. Don't mind if I do. Please, give me another chance. I don't want to break up. Wyatt, chill. This is the way it's got to be. The sooner you accept it, the sooner I get to the ice cream. Got you some weepy videos, dude. Sorry about the breakup. I heard you two made a really cute couple. <laughs> <gasps> it's Coach. Hello? Get back here, Masterson! Oh, you're my new speed bag. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. I heard. I'm coming. <gasps> I'll get it. Never answer the phone. Answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Okay, Callum, you're in luck. Callum will meet you at the lemon in 10. Yes! Pink Cammy, here I come. Wow, Wyatt, I had no idea how much you liked ice cream. Guess I've sort of developed a taste for it in the time since Jonesy dumped me. I'm sorry, I wanted to do it, but Jonesy convinced me it'd be easier for you his way and I couldn't find you anywhere. Yeah, I was sort of avoiding you. Things have just gotten sort of messed up. With the band and the mall, we've just been spending so much time together. I know, we have been getting on each other's nerves. So, are you going to say you just want to be friends? Nope, I think we're going to be the best of exes. Mm. Whoa, brah! You run into a brick wall? A brick wall and a hockey jersey. Hi, Callum! Whoa! Hey! Caitlin? Wow, you look really different. So, um, do you have that card I gave you? The one with my phone number on it? Uh, I forgot it at home. Shoot. Well, I'd love to see you again. Can I have your number? Sure. Here you go. Later. Yay! <laughs> At least I got his number. 555-7832. Five, 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 I'll just call him and pick up my card. Um, Kate, did you say 555-7832? Five, 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 yeah, why? <gasps> call 555-7832 five, 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 for complete colon cleansing? I got fake numbered? Me? Uh, have you looked in a mirror lately? <laughs> khaki card back! Come on, let's go get you started on a new crappy card. Yep, I think it's time for a little retail therapy. And if that doesn't work, you can always try the colon cleansing. <laughs> 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 
So, how are you doing? Breaking up stinks. You know, for the record, I did beg Marlo not to dump you. But Marlo and I talked and agreed this is for the best. Which is exactly what I told her. If there's one thing I've learned from Serena, it's that there's life after breaking up. Right you are, bro. There's plenty of hot chicks out there, including those two right over there. Hello, ladies. Ugh, ow! <laughs> hey, Wyatt. Hey, what's up? I think he's gonna be okay. Though I can't say the same for my gut. I think your stomach will be just fine. Though I wish I could say the same for your big mouth. <laughs> <laughs>